I know, at least personally, junior high was kind of the toughest time. The yeah. worst. Yeah. So many teens struggle with challenges at school, at home, friends. Yeah, well, some students in Burnsville, though, are lucky enough to have a teacher who every day gives them little life lessons to help them through the rough times. That's what makes him this week's excellent educator. With their desk in a half circle, students in this ninth grade class are fully engaged. Tucked in the middle, their teacher. The things you're doing that make a difference out there, make a difference in here. We heard about the way Steve Orth connects with students and had to pay him a visit. Hi, class. Hi, Mr. Orth. I would like to let you know that you have been nominated and selected as this week's excellent educator. Thank you. That's very exciting. Mr. Orth loves teaching language arts at Medcalf Junior High, but it took one of his own teachers to help him realize his passion. Talking to one of my high school mentors, and English teachers, uh, he actually pulled me aside one day near the end of my senior year at Burnsville High School, and he said, so Orth, what are you going to do in college? I'm going to be a teacher, a math teacher. I said, nope, you're double majoring, math and English. So you were a student in this district? In this room. In this very room, you learned English? Ninth grade, ninth grade English, yep. How cool is it for you to be back here in the teaching spot? Um, it's, it's amazing that I get to do what I do and where I am to be actually have taken over from my ninth grade English teacher, teaching ninth grade English in this room now um, is an honor. Mr. Orth's other passion, drama. He's director for the school's theater program. So is there ever any drama in your classroom? Not in our classroom, right? <laughs> no. uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. What about, would you guys say Mr. Orth is pretty dramatic when he teaches? Does he really get into it? Yes. Yeah. 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 But it's the drama that happens outside the classroom where Mr. Orth makes the biggest impact. Sometimes it's giving voice to those who can't find their own voices. He has a knack for taking a school book assignment and turning it into a lesson the students can use in their daily lives. If you're like going through bad stages in life, it'll help you and it just really good life lessons towards what you think and you'll think before you act. I don't know how he does it, but he hits everybody through the class uh, in particular, but talks to the class at the same time. What would be a recent life lesson that you tried to drill into these students? Well, one thing we talked about even last year uh, when we were reading The Hobbit and learning about heroes at that time is that they are the heroes of their own life story. They're not just the main character, they're a hero and they have a quest to go on and they have a boon to bring back they have a villain to vanquish, and they have a story to be sung for generations thereafter. Wow. Yeah, so inspirational, huh? Well, when we were there, his talk was about domestic violence and how to recognize it and help someone who's going through it in the students' lives. So very important mm. talks and yeah. inspirational, too. I could have sat there all day listening to him. The other cool factor about Mr. Orth is that not only does he direct drama, but he writes his own plays oh, that the cool. students perform. Cool. So just multi-talented. I just can't believe that he's been in that same classroom. I know, right? Could you imagine going back to Maple Grove Junior High? Teaching. No. <laughs> I never want to go back. No offense. <laughs> it's, it's a good place to stop in and visit. But yeah, those days are behind us, thankfully. <laughs> All right, well, if you have an excellent educator in your life, we would like to hear about them. Please post your nominations on the WCCO Mornings Facebook page or email it to morning at WCCO.com.